Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I wanna to share something personal that has really impacted my family life lately. So we are in a whole new season over here because we've just welcomed our third child. And honestly, this season, just like with the addition of every new baby, has really brought me to my knees. And so it seems like every single one of us has felt stretched in some way with this new addition to the family. So if you're in a season of growth or transition, I know you'll understand how overwhelming it can get. But as always, God showed me a way through the overwhelm. I felt a gentle nudge to create a better rhythm in our mornings. And wow, what a difference has this made. So today I'm going to break down our morning homemaking rhythm for you. I call it a rhythm, not necessarily a schedule because the times usually change and are kind of different and I'll do things somewhat out of order and sometimes things take much longer um, on certain days than other days, but the flow stays generally the same. So if you're in a similar season of growing pains, I hope that you'll find some in inspiration here too. Let's start with breakfast when the children are up. So we start with breakfast and while the children eat, I will say our morning prayer. And in this video, I'm going to share real life footage of exactly what that looks like. And so if the audio sounds a little different or quieter, um, that's why, <laughs> but I just wanted you to get an idea of exactly what we do. So we do a prayer. This is so crucial. This morning prayer has been a game changer. Having it scheduled into our mornings and just carved into our morning morning rhythm has really impacted our day, starting the day with prayer. So I highly recommend start the day with prayer with your children. It helps set such a peaceful tone for the day and just setting our sights on um, where our strength comes from and who our strength comes from. Lord, I pray that you give me the reminder that I have the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit within me to not react and respond to my flesh. Lord, thank you. So after that, we do a little catechism practice and work on our hymn and our verses. So it's such a beautiful way to center our hearts as a family. Next is chore time. So each of my children has age appropriate chores. Then we have what I call morning bins. So these bins have books and other activities that keep them busy while I clean up the kitchen and can get some of my own chores done myself. So I like to recite our um, Bible memory verses during this time to keep us again connected to God while we work on our chores. And so my children have their own verse, which is part of our little catechism book, which I will link this catechism book be, uh, below. But my verses are, I use the Charlotte Mason Bible memory method. I don't really 
I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to the Lord, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and So after chores, it's time for a little mommy playtime. So this is when I fill up their little cups by reading to them or snuggling with them, and then they play independently while I tackle any leftover chores or start dinner prep for the day or whatever else is on my list for the day. Okay, we do preschool at home. And I keep it really simple and engaging. I do about, you know, 15 minute lessons. Um, and then if they want to do more, they can choose to do more on their own. And then my little toddler, who's not quite ready for lessons yet, does like little puzzles or sensory activities and things like that while I do preschool with my eldest. All right, so then after that, usually the children will go outside and play or we'll go on a walk, but I usually try to get the children outside, rain or shine. I have little wetsuits for them or rain suits and Carhartt overalls and rain boots. So we're prepared for any weather. <laughs> we're here in Washington state, so it can get pretty rainy here, but we try to make it outside. And usually I try to make it outside with the kids and we'll go on a little walk or some kind of adventure. I will feed the kids lunch at some point. So depending on how long this morning rhythm takes, the kids will be outside for maybe an hour or two before lunch. And then I try and feed them lunch outside unless the weather's just really gross and like windy and rainy and nobody wants to eat in that, <laughs> then I'll bring them inside. But if it's a nice day, then I'll have the kids do lunch outside. And then I take a little time for myself and I'll get a quick workout in just right here in the living room. <laughs> it's not a full blown gym session or anything like that, but just enough to get my body moving and my energy up. And so I do something that I call movement sessions and I'll link the playlist um, that I use below or the YouTube channel that I use below. Okay. So that brings us into the early afternoon. And then after that, um, we do nap time. The kids will wake up. We'll do, um, we'll finish up any lessons that we didn't finish in the morning or, um, just free play time, uh, story time. I read lots of books to the kids and, then it's dinner time and bedtime. So you may be wondering what the baby does during all of this. And as you can see in the video, I'm baby wearing, I'm holding the baby. Um, and then if you don't see the baby, he's either in his crib taking a nap or in the swing taking a nap or doing tummy time. So the baby is just kind of along for the ride. <laughs> and he can kind of work around whatever's going on in our rhythm. And of course there are things like blowouts and you know things like that. Um, nursing and I, obviously I have to tend to the baby, <laughs> but that's why this is a rhythm, not necessarily a schedule. <laughs> so that's our rhythm. It's made such a difference in my peace and sanity throughout our days as we go through these growing pains. And I hope that if you are in a similar season that maybe you took away just a little nugget in here that would bless your day. So I'd love to hear what's working for you in your family rhythm these days. Leave a comment below and let's support each other in these seasons of growth. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel for more family and faith-filled content.